The minicopter is currently the best vehicle in Rust. But how do you drive it, you might ask? Welcome to the Rust Beginner's Guide, where today I'll be telling you how to drive the minicopter in Rust. Before driving the minicopter, you'll need to get some fuel for it. The minicopter has a maximum flying time of 16 and a half minutes before shutting its engines off if you insert 500 low-grade fuel. This means that for every 100 low-grade fuel, you can fly for 3 minutes and 18 seconds in your minicopter. The best way to get low-grade fuel is by going to the dome, farming the barrels, and refining the fuel. You can also get fuel by hunting bears or boars, as these animals yield the most animal fat, which can be used to craft low-grade fuel. So after we've gathered fuel, first, let's find a minicopter. Minicopters are located along roads, and they're quite common, so this shouldn't be a problem. The thing to watch out for when finding a minicopter is its health, as minicopters with low health can be destroyed easily by people trying to snipe you. Now let's get to flying. The easiest thing is taking off. All you need to do is hold down W and you will take off after the rotor spins up. Maneuvering is also quite simple, all you need to do is move your mouse around. You will move in the direction of moving your mouse, so for example if you move your mouse forward, the minicopter will tilt forward and you will start going forward. Seems easy, right? Turning is a little more difficult but still manageable. You need to press the direction you want to go from W, A, S or D and also move your mouse slightly in that direction to avoid tilting and losing control. So for example if you want to turn left then you should press A and move your mouse slightly to the left. The final essential thing for flying is landing which is quite simple as well. All you need to do is approach the ground and slow down and when you're at a low enough altitude just jump and the minicopter will land. Keep in mind though, that if you jump from too high, you risk dying of fall damage or damaging your minicopter. While flying, you should also watch out for trees, large power lines, and small power lines. Speaking of damage, the minicopter decays in 3 hours if outside. This can be slightly improved to 6 hours if you build an enclosure for it and keep it inside though. When taking fire, regular 5.56 ammo will damage 5 HP per hit into the minicopter, and explosive 5.56 ammo will damage 10, so watch out for snipers when your minicopter is low on health. As a fun little extra, you can drive your minicopter like a car if you hold down your crouch button while on the ground. The best things to do with the minicopter are looting the dome, which is fairly easy as all you need to do is land on top of it and looting the top of the launch site, which I'm gonna show you how to do. So first of all, you need to destroy this SAM site behind the main building. This will ensure that you won't get shot down by the SAM sites. Next, in car mode, which you can achieve by holding your crouch key, you need to drive close to the building so the other SAM sites can't see you. And once you're here, just fly up and land on the scaffolding leading down from the top. Congratulations, you can now loot the launch site. I hope this video helped and that you enjoyed it and if you did then please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as you do not know how much it helps a small YouTube channel like mine. If you really enjoy my videos and would like to support me in a more personal way then you can become my patron on patreon.com slash the memish gamer. And as always I will see you in two weeks.